get a load of this. Four pineapples for $10 from Fred Myers. Can you believe this? How is this even possible here in Alaska? Hi there, this is Big Spruce Rabbitry, and today I'm going to show you how to cut up a pineapple and then try to figure out how these pineapples actually got to Alaska and whether Fred Myers is crazy for charging that price. Hope you enjoy! Here in Fairbanks, we get remarkably good produce in our grocery stores. When I moved up to Fairbanks to start graduate school from Western Washington, the first really good peach I ever ate came from Fred Myers. So that leaves me the question, what's up with that? Because it was grown in Eastern Washington. So does Eastern Washington just send Western Washington the mealy peaches? Just a question, uh, but I'll move on from that. Let's take a look at this pineapple. This pineapple was grown on a farm in Costa Rica. I'm going to save its tag for later So for my research. I'll show you how to cut it up. So we're going to first cut the top off. I'll save that for later, for the bunnies. We'll try the back. That back end. Sweetest part of the pineapple is normally the bottom. Now we'll take off the sides. Now we'll quarter the pineapple. And then there's this pith that runs down the middle of the pineapple that's kind of tough. You want to cut this out. And finally, cut the cut pineapple up into pieces. So do you remember this label that we took off the pineapple? Let's go do some research to figure out how it got here. The first place I went was the Pira Veda farm website to look up their pineapples. I found a link to their farms, but this is where the trail dried up. I couldn't find more exact information about where in Costa Rica the farms are located or how they ship their pineapples to Alaska. I did try to contact a sales representative, but think I sounded like an internet nut job and never heard back. I couldn't let this project go, so decided to figure out the most likely path the pineapple took from Costa Rica to Fairbanks, Alaska. The pineapple would have been packaged in a climate-controlled shipping container. With the correct humidity and temperature, a pineapple can be stored for up to four weeks. Looking at a map of Costa Rica, there are two container terminals, Puerto Limon to the east and Puerto Caldera to the west. Our pineapple must have come through the western port, Puerto Caldera. From Puerto Caldera, the pineapple was shipped up the western coast of North America to Tacoma, Washington. According to the shipping calculator linked to in the description, it takes approximately 16 days for a trip from Puerto Caldera to Tacoma, Washington. 90% of all goods shipped to Alaska come through Tacoma. At the port of Tacoma, our container of pineapples would have been transferred to another container ship destined for Alaska. Fun fact, the barges that arrive in the port of Alaska show up on Sunday and Tuesday, so for the best produce, shop on Monday and Wednesday. Barring extreme weather, that's when the freshest stuff will show up in the market. The vast majority of food that makes it to Fairbanks comes through Anchorage, Alaska. From Anchorage, the containers are either trucked up the Parks Highway or transported up the railroad depending on which is cheaper at the moment. Both shipping routes take approximately the same time, about six hours. 
The whole trip from Tacoma to Fairbanks takes about four days. So from farm to Fred Myers, the trip the pineapple took was about 20 days, leaving a couple of weeks of shelf life. This is quite a remarkable feat. So how much does it cost to actually ship the pineapple? It was nearly impossible to get exact quotes for any part of the journey, so I'll be using the best estimates that I could find. So I looked up how much it would cost to ship a container from Costa Rica to Tacoma and found it would be between $2,000 and $3,000. And then from Tacoma to Anchorage would be an additional $1,500 to $2,000. So from Costa Rica to Anchorage it would cost about $3,500 to $5,500. Fairbanks has a population of about 30,000. We have a number of grocery stores, but Fred Meyer West is central to the university side of town. I'm going to estimate that about one-third of people in Fairbanks shop there, and about one-fifth buy a pineapple. One-fifth might seem a bit high, but there are people like me who bought multiple pineapples. With this estimate, Fred Meyers needs about 2,000 pineapples. Pineapples are easily brewed, so packaged in cardboard boxes with 12 pineapples per box. This means Fred Meyer West is probably ordering 160 boxes about. The dimensions of a shipping container are 20 by 40 by 8 feet, so approximately 6,400 square feet. This means that 160 boxes would take up approximately one-fifth of one shipping container. Pineapples pick up off flavors from peppers and avocados, so normally are shipped with citrus fruits that have similar care instructions. It costs about $500 to ship one container from Anchorage to Fairbanks. So when we bring it all together, it costs about $1,100 to ship 2,000 pineapples from Costa Rica to Fairbanks, Alaska. That means it costs less than one dollar per pineapple to get them to Alaska, so Fred Myers is not crazy for charging such a low price. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I know I sure did. I'm going to enjoy some pineapple while you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our farm store in the description. Mmm, good pineapple.